Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed and I'm going to check in on my cocoon bins. 500 cocoons, put in 515 of 19 and let's see what they're doing. Take off all the stuff. put my light up here so I can see what I'm doing. And there's a little buddy right there on the edge of the piece of the cardboard. You can tell when I got the cocoons they were pretty bright yellow or green and these are super very much brighter in orange color. Oh, here's another one. Hindsight being 2020, um, it probably was not the best to use colored paper on this. But it is what I had already um, in process. So it had already been sitting with its biologicals. Let's see, this is an empty cocoon. I actually shot this video once and when I switched all of my videos to the other computer something something not cool happened to the files and they said they were unreadable so I'm really not sure what all I've lost here's another really ripe cocoon here So I know the last time that I did this video, I found a pretty good size one. And I've been super careful to wash my hands very, very thoroughly before getting in these bins, <coughs> obviously afterwards, but to make sure that I don't get any crossover from the other bins. These are actually upstairs, away from everything else. I just saw one dip under here. I just don't know. It was in there. Oh, wait, there it is. Ah. So they're little and they're mixed with a bunch of paper with pink and purple in it. Yeah, there's another little one. So they are very definitely hatching. I tell you, every time I do this, it's like an eye test. One of them was actually pretty good size. I don't remember if it was on this one, the European Nightcrawlers. You can see a lot of the eggs are getting a lot more ripe than they were before when I took the video. Here's like three or four of them all in a cluster. They probably all hatched from the same egg. Cocoon. Another one. So I'm not counting at this point. I 
mean 500 cocoons. That's, that's a lot of, this one must have hatched quite a bit earlier, it's bigger than the rest. But I just wanted to, to let you know that the cocoons absolutely did survive the, the transit. And uh, again, much more orange. And that the little buddies are doing just fine in here. And that uh, this is definitely a viable way to get a larger population going. I see wiggling. Hold on. There he is. I kind of did. So this is the red wigglers, and they're known to be fairly proficient at reproduction and hatching. They're usually not troublemakers when it comes to reproducing. So that's it for, for the red wigglers. Okay, now we are going to take a look at the European Nightcrawler 500 cocoon bin started on 515.19. I would have kind of expected them to be on the paper towel or something, but not so much. Okay, I'm going to move everything. Oop, this is a really good size one. This one must have uh, hatched almost immediately when it got here. Look how big he is. Here's another one. European Nightcrawler wisps do tend to be bigger than other wisps. And that's probably the cocoon he came from here. It's empty. Another one, pretty good size. This one here, this cocoon, I can actually see a little worm moving around in there. It'll probably hatch this weekend. And these ones too. Big juicy eggs. So just a short update on them. Fluffing them up, get some air in there. But they are hatching along, doing good. There's another little baby. So, like I said with the red wigglers, I'm not, I'm not counting them at this point. I'm just uh, checking up on them to make sure that they're hatching and, and whatnot and have everything they need. But uh, that's it for this update. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and my cocoons, and everybody have a good day.